All right, here we have 14 free plugins from Vox in Go. Now, because of the sheer number of plugins, I'm not gonna do any kind of an in-depth tutorial for each plugin. Instead, we're just gonna take like a quick overview of each plugin, listen to them, see how they sound, and get the basics of how they work. But if you wanna learn more about any of these plugins, each of them have a full manual on the corresponding page. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right in. But before we do that, don't forget to smash that dislike button and unsubscribe. Is that right? First up, we have Anspec, and this is an analog style one third octave spectrum analyzer plugin. Control your slope, double click to center that, and then the number of bands that you wanna see, up to 64. Pretty simple to figure this one out. Now, a lot of these plugins will have a, a lot of common controls up here, so click your question mark icon, which enables your context hints. So hover over a control, it will tell you exactly what it does. You'll have presets up here. Most of these interfaces are freely resizable, so you can click and drag, resize them however, uh, however you want. And also, back here in your hamburger menu, you have full control of your interface. So change the color to whatever you prefer. Click the gear icon and dial in even more control. Set things up however you want, all right? The next plugin is Beeper, and Beeper is for content protection. I'm sure you've probably heard uh, songs, sounds on the internet with intermittent beeps. That's what this plugin can do for you. It can be beeps, noise, or it can even mute the track. So for this, let's uh, start with something really short on our period, just for the sake of uh, the demo. Pop it on, play back, and you hear that beep. So every 1.5 seconds, we're gonna hear a beep. It's gonna keep beeping as long as it's turned on. So set up the period for your intermittent beep, say every three seconds, make it a longer beep or a shorter beep, the frequency of that beep, the total level of that beep, and any kind of variation. Do you want just a, just one, you know, one frequency of a beep, or do you want it to uh, want it to vary, okay? So pull that variation up, there we go. So every three seconds, we're gonna get a beep. There we go, content protection. You also have noise, same thing. Intermittent noise, and you can also choose to mute. I'll do, say mute every uh, three seconds or so. I'll pull the gain all the way down, so that way it mutes completely. change the duration of that. All right, so that is Beeper, your content protection plugin. Again, same stuff over here, change your interface, colors, presets, etc., etc. The next plugin is Bug X, and this is a guitar amp plugin, if I just bypass it for now. Just a dry guitar. Pop it on. Try a preset. There we go. Dial things in with your emphasis EQ. Change up your amp type here. Drive controls, gate controls, pre-EQ controls. You have uh, cabinets here. Next up is a multi-band correlation meter. So use it to spot phase issues, check your phase alignment, etc., etc. Average time for those controls number of bands, primary source, secondary source, full scale, etc., etc. If you don't know how to, uh, if you don't know how to use a correlation meter, again, check out the full documentation on the plugin page. Next up is latency delay, and you would use this if you're also using other plugins that don't properly report their latency to the DAW, so then your, your sound's gonna be a bit off. So you can put this uh, plugin on that track and uh, you know delay whatever tracks that you need to 
by whatever set of uh, milliseconds or, uh, or samples. So turn this on, pull this up, delay that kick, or whatever you, uh, whatever you need to delay. Next up is the Marvel G EQ, and this is a linear phase EQ. So of course, being an EQ, we know how to adjust things, right? If you hold down your right mouse button, you can draw in an EQ shape. You have presets up here. Also click your question mark icon. We'll give you some tips, some hints on uh, ways to use this. Then our routing up here, there's a lot of things you can actually do with this EQ. So right now it's on stereo. Right. If I show my G2 there, different settings, but right now it's on stereo. So let's change this routing to something like dual mono. Then we can have left and right EQ'd differently. So I can have my right, just hold down my right mouse button here and draw in something like that. So a lot of low end here on the right side. Then on the left side, I can pull out the low end and have basically just a top end. We can show our overlays for our different channels there as well. So on the left, we have the top end. On the right, we have the uh, the bottom end. Again, just to show that you can have different channels and you, and you can EQ your channels differently. You can even uh, EQ mid-side, mid-side linked. There's a lot of options in this really professional, free, linear phase EQ. So I wanted to do, uh, say, mid-side. Let's go ahead and pull our mids about in the middle, our sides about in the middle. And for the mid, maybe I want to pump up the low end for the mid, pull down the top end for the mid. And the mid is, is not mid as in frequency, but what's coming down the middle. So our kicks, snares, things like that. And for the sides, maybe pull down some of that low end content, open it up a bit on top. All right, you can change your colors. Next up, we have MSED, which is a mid side adjustment plugin. We have different modes here for inline or encode and decode. Inline, of course, we'll do uh, we'll do both. So check this out. I want to take the gain for the mid again. Stuff coming down the middle, drums, kick coming down the middle there. Just that the side gain. Swap your channels. Pan the mid, pan the sides, yeah. and go to encode, decode, inline, double click, reset that. Presets yeah. up there, correlation meter, left right balance. All right. So, a very useful mid side tool. Next up, we have Old School Verb, which of course is a reverb plugin with a classic stereo reverb algorithm. Can't stop to think and say. Just bypass right now, pop it on. Can't stop to think and say. There's all of your stay away. general reverb oh, controls. Stay away. Different modes here reverse, old slapback. Tell me, do plus with. Tell me Next up is Overtone GEQ, which is a seven band harmonic or overtone graphic equalizer plugin. And this injects a harmonic enhancement effect to your tracks. The operation will be similar to the other uh, linear phase EQ that we already saw. So we don't need to spend a lot of time on this, but inject some harmonic enhancement to different bands. We're in the stereo mode right now. Of course we can go to dual mono, and EQ our sides differently, or even go to uh, mid side. EQ the mid and the side differently. Scale our parameters, which is really cool actually. Invert or reset. If you're underlay, so you can see what's going on on each uh, on the side or on the mid or on the left and the right, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, all of the other 
stuff that you already know about, presets, and of course, change up your interface however you want. Next up, we have a sound delay, which is an auxiliary multi-channel signal delay plugin with precise millisecond and sample delay specifications. And you also have different routings up here as, uh, as well. So we're on stereo now. I can hear much difference in this case, but let's put this to maybe dual mono, and then we can delay the left and right side uh, differently there. Relay that left side, the right side. You could do um, mid side, perhaps. Delay the mid or the side solo. Back on stereo there. Presets up there if you need to uh, choose something quickly to delay your tracks. And of course, the same color effects for the uh, interface right there. Next up, we have another sort of utility plugin. This is Span, which of course is a analyzer, another spectrum analyzer. Correlation meter there. Different modes, a high res mode there. Show an underlay. Go to uh, maybe a mid side. Change your different colors here. You can choose hold if you need to hold on a section of your uh, of your spectrum so you can look at it a bit closer. Dial into it there. Zoom into it. So off a hold. Different metering scales here. Next up is Stereo Touch, which is a uh, stereo widening plugin, a stereo effect plugin here. Let me bypass it for now. So there's our guitar. Then we'll turn it on. Now it's much wider, you can just things uh, manually in here if you want. Just one delay, two delays, high pass filters and low pass filters for that. Presets in here. Put guitar space on that. There we go. Next up is Tempo Delay, which of course is a delay plugin based on tempo. Let's go ahead and turn it on. A lot of controls in here. Let's turn off these filters here. Change your BPM, freely adjust it. Adjust your BPM multiplier. Lock it to your host BPM right there. Just the delay for each side. Repetition period, feedback, panning, etc., etc. On their presets up here, ping pong with some filters and tremolo in there. Next up and lastly is Tube Amp, which is a Tube Amp audio effect plugin that you can use to you know, saturate, overdrive things, add some tube or valve warmness, some overdrive to, uh, to your tracks. So here's a vocal. Light in the lights, the fire inside will never, never die. Add some 
never, never tube die. distortion to that, or just a bit of warmness never, down never here. Never, never die. Never, never die. And your low pass. Never, different never modes here, die. different kinds. Never, never die. Never, never die. And again, up here we have different options. We could go, you know, mid side, adjust the mid, then adjust the uh, side, dual mono, etc., etc. So it's really a full featured tube style uh, saturation plugin. The fire inside will never, never die. Never, never die. Never, never die. Put that uh, never, never die. soft knee limiter on there. Let's check it on maybe drums. Let's go to mode two here. There we go. There we go. Bypass that. Some saturation, some lo fi to that. Very good. Maybe try it on this uh, synth. All right, sounds cool. Let's give it some tube warmness. There we go. So that is your 14 free plugins from Vox and Go. There's a lot of stuff in here, a lot of uh, a lot of utilities, your latency delays, uh, your beeper. That's a pretty cool plugin to, to have around. A couple of nice spectrum analyzers, guitar amp in there, a couple of pretty cool EQs, mid-side tools, etc. etc. Got your tempo delay, span, of course, our tube amp that we just looked at. Okay. So again, that is your 14 free plugins. If you want to pick them up for yourself, head right over here. Of course, the uh, link will be in the description below. And what you download will depend on the system that you are on. If you're on Windows, uh, the VST, VST3, and AAX are all included in one download. If you're on Mac and you want something for Pro Tools or Logic, then you download this one right here. If you want something uh, on Mac for VST or VST3, then you would download from this link right here. And you would do that for each plugin that you want. So if you don't want all of the uh, 14 free plugins, no problem, just download the ones uh, and install the ones that you want or head through here and download each and every one absolutely for free. Again, this link will be in the description below. So head over there and pick up your 14 free plugins from Voxingo.